it looks like this product's replacing concrete. What, what's that used for? Uh, it is replacing concrete. If, if that equivalent product was concrete, you wouldn't be standing there with it because right. it would weigh four and a half times yeah. the weight of that plastic. But yes, it's replacing concrete for vehicle movements. Uh, typically, we use it for lorry parking, uh, access to wind farms, uh, fire access routes, that type of thing. But there are two distinct advantages. Um, one, somebody can work with it all day, whereas with concrete, it's, it's very difficult for a man to work with it. Uh, and secondly, the distribution costs are significantly lower um, because you will overload a vehicle in no time with the weight of concrete, yeah. whereas you can fill it with recycled plastic. And what's, what's that made from? Uh, that's made from a blend of different polymers. It's primarily polyolefins, but we also add some other polymers to it to give it additional strength. Yeah, and of course, this, just look at it, it's got much more impact resistant than, resistance than concrete, so if you're handling it and you can imagine if you were trying to handle those things made in concrete, you'd, you'd, you'd probably get a certain number of breakages and things that, that where this stuff's obviously very tough. Now you're absolutely right. Uh, there was some testing done on concrete versus plastic curbs, and you can drop a concrete curb from 200 millimeters and it cracks. Yeah. Uh, you can drop plastic from 2,000 millimeters and it doesn't break. Yeah. Um, but most importantly, in use. Uh, concrete is a porous material, yes. so uh, it has in, to be. You can't make it non-porous. No, yeah. and in the winter, of course, it will absorb moisture. When that moisture freezes, then it starts to break away the concrete. Um, one of the big advantages of plastic is it doesn't absorb that moisture. And you only get the, the chemical attack that you can get in concrete either. No, that's right. Yeah, so it's, it's, and of course, with metals and steels, again, you can get corrosion. This this stuff's really uh, got the edge. Yes, yeah, because of its lack of absorbency of moisture, it, it won't yeah. rot or rust yeah. in, in any way and, and stays in that form for as far as you can see into the future. What sort of applications has this been used for? Um, that, that's typically truck parks. Right. Uh, we, we do have a car parking product that's a little bit simpler than that, um, <coughs> but where you've got particularly heavy loading, or trucks are quite difficult, particularly articulated lorries when they turn, the rear wheels don't roll, they scrub sideways. So most products can be ripped up by that. Uh, yeah. But that, that product uh, withstands that extremely well. So truck parking, uh, there's a big niche in access to wind farms um, and also um, uh, fire escape rooms mm -hmm. because it will take a fully laden fire truck. Um, so, in fact, any road going vehicle can, can drive over that. And also, it's allowing water to percolate through it. So. Yeah, yeah, it gives you a porous surface so you can fill the centre with grass or gravel. Uh, the beauty of grass in the wind farm applications is that you don't need a road scarring the landscape. You can lay that down, grow grass through it, and effectively it disappears, but it still allows so, yeah, the vehicular yeah. access. Uh, or you can fill it with gravel and that will allow uh, heavy rainwater to move into the watercourses at a much slower rate than, uh, than if it was fully concreted or fully tarmacked. Yeah.